Hello everybody, welcome back to Path of Nostalgia. I'm here again, and today we are looking at Jimbo and the Jet Set. So Jimbo and the Jet Set is a British animated TV show from 1986. It only lasted for one season, and it was all like, well it was all like came from 86 or 87 it came from, and it's, it's obviously, yeah, it is British, it's animated, and just had less lasted for one season, pretty much. Um, so Jimbo and Jet Set is about like um, the, also the character Jimbo, who is basically like an, like an airliner, talking, child-like, spe high-pitched speaking airliner, who basically travels doing various object, uh, various tasks for the airport, like you're driving passengers around or doing different tasks, like delivering stuff to faraway countries and other stuff, or doing some random adventures around here in Britain. As always, now, if you're wondering what, the, if you're wondering what it is, it's sort of a rip off to, of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, very much. I mean, it's of it's sort of like here in the time when it was basically the second season came out, and obviously it's all sort of, it's in that sort of same thing because you've got Jimbo who's small, who's basically like very naive, can be a little mischievous and also hardworking. It's like in it's basically the same as the other characters very much, you know. It's in that, it's basically like same, but the same man mannerisms, like, he sort of helps out. Sometimes it's going to be the cockiness and uh, prank, what was it? Prank, yeah, prank -ality. I don't know, prank is a new word or something, I don't know. But it's basically in the sort of same vein, it is. And you've also, you have various characters like the uh, Street Loader, you have the commander, the chief, so sort of and tells them what to do, who is like brash and also quite shouty. They very much like he's but he's also quite insane, a little bit crazy, which is interesting, which is sort of a new thing. And but it sort of feels like a clone of Thomas Tanks and Friends. That's how it feels. And probably I think kids when they first watched it, I think they probably think it's the same. I saw when I first when I first watched it, I think I saw parallels to that as well. When looking at it, and I think, yeah, yeah, it just it is it's it's very reminiscent of that sort of style. It is. I mean, it's not li live action model animation or from that. Well, it's just drawn animation. Um, obviously, the voices themselves are British, and you can see the British tone command the voices, which is quite good. English speaking language, which is good, which is alright, and the animation is quite uh, quite good. It's got this sort of like bouncy sort of style to it, like, like it's, I don't know, I'm not going to say it's like a chunky design, but it is, it's sort of, it's just reminiscent of all sorts of stuff it is, um, yeah, probably, I think that's nothing else I can say about that, um, yeah, I forgot about this, what other characters, there's this Jimbo, there's that, um, Loader and there's the chief as well, which I just which I just, know, which I just know about anyway. Yeah. So how did I get into Jim and the Jets? Well, funny enough, is I never seen this whatsoever again. 2012, looking for stuff for influence, and this popped up. And the only episode I remember was seeing was an episode called Down Under, in which Jim goes to Australia. He does, and obviously he gets confused with the Aussie accents. He Basically goes to different parts of Austria as well, trying to look like you're in the you're in the wrong place, um, wrong place. You have to go to the other part, which is like across from the desert or something. Again, again, that's the desert. And for some strange reason, this is actually weird. When I first watch it, and when I when I look back on it, I think, yeah, it's quite, it's absolutely weird. It's absolutely strange because he encounters basically supposed to be Rolf Harris in the middle of the desert doing his what is why well, I said well, I don't know. Well, for any young children watching, don't, don't talk, don't ask your parents about Rolf Harris whatsoever. Don't. I would say not. However, in, it seems like a, it's a very, it's a very, it seems very funny at the time. However, now it seems quite absurd and quite, ugh, cringeworthy. It's quite cringeworthy when you think of it. If you watch an episode back, you know, with fresh new eyes, new perspectives of how, how much has changed now since the 21st century. And how celebrities have some people are changed now. It's quite, mm. yeah, probably. 
and also yeah obviously it just involves a look like of him you know the sort of wobble board thing they used to do and it involves kangaroos as well so it's pretty fine well not well pretty fine with kangaroos not with the wolf harris look right look like no uh. A sight for sore eyes. A sight for sore eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's all I could say about Jim with the Jet Set. I mean, to be honest, it's quite it's good, actually. I mean, I think it's an interesting show. Fascinating. Though it's a rip-off of, like, the the one one of those shows that we used to go up and that's famous around the world. This one's just, like, a, a standalone uh, British show that's only lasted for about a season, pretty much. And... It came and went, and it, just, and, it, and it just never came back. Though it appeared on some compilations over, over the years, however, people, I think some people still remember it, you know. I think, when you think of it, when I think of Dream of the Jets, I think of like an American animated one. However, it's British, it is. So, yeah. I mean, with something like called Jumbo, I think. That's more of American, I think. And you just think of Jumbo from The Simpsons, pretty much. The Simpsons kind of Jumbo, Jumbo Jones. And you think... Most of them with, type, with a name like that, you think it's an American. It's an American name. So it's of an American coin name, pretty much. However, in some of a British television show, it is quite interesting. It's quite different. I mean, you don't get like a British, you don't, you don't see a British character or something called Jimbo whatsoever. So, there. Yeah. There. Yeah. So, I have been talking about Jimbo and the Jet Set, which is from 86 87. Massive for one season. Um,. It is a Thomas and Tang it's a Thomas Tension and Friends clone very much. However, it's got a few new nifty ideas. It's got that what it's got and also that episode I mentioned. I would say give it a watch, but be warned about that in that that uh, sparse cameo that comes sort of like in the middle and it's the end of the episode. And maybe just give maybe give the show a little go if, if you think so. If you're nostalgia like me you love the if you if you like cartoons from the eighties very much, this might be interesting to give it a watch. So anyway, I've been talking about during the jet set, and I will see you for the next video. Thank you very much. See ya.